Hello everyone, welcome. Today I'll talk about multi diffusion and how you can create images from input like this to this. I'll be using Collab Notebook. If you have not seen my previous video, please check the description. You will find a link how to use Collab Notebook for stable diffusion. So before we start working, we need to install two extensions. The name is Web UI 2 Sort and Composable LoRa. Uh, to install the extension, we will be using this code. So if you are using a Collab Notebook, just add this code section in your Collab Notebook before you are running this start stable diffusion, right? So just click here, click on add plus code and add this code, okay? Once this is done, once you start, it will install the extension as well as it will apply the patch. If you are using in your local, what you have to do is you have to go to extension folder and you have to git clone this branch, which I will provide in the description. And then you have to go to one folder up that is web UI and run this git command. Once this is done and you restart your uh, stable diffusion, come to this extension section, go to available, load from this URL. Uh, you have to install another uh, extension that is composable LoRa. So you can see here I have installed here. Once you install this, inside this install section, you should see these two stable diffusion web UI composable LoRa and diffusion web UI two sort. Once this is done, let's back, get back to text to image section and start generating our images. Inside this text to image section, I'm using anything version three. Uh, model checkpoint for creating images and in this composable LoRa you see that we have here so we will enable this and this latent couple we have this mask so if you install the extension which I have given you will get this you know a mask section so let's click on this enabled and start creating so what we will do is we will keep the canvas width as 512 by 512 and click on this create canvas. Go to this section, select one color from here. You can increase the brush size. So I'm going to paint this here. Okay, let's select another color. And let's draw here. Once you draw the image, you can click on this. I have finished my sketch. And you can start creating, you know, uh, name for what, what is that. So you can see here, our first section here, I will use this as a girl and this as a sky. So let's go ahead and give the prompt here. So for general prompt, I'll be using, you know, Masterpiece best quality outdoor night scene. And for first section, I will be using this is our girl section. So I'll use this as one girl wearing a white shirt and a long red skirt. For this prompt for the mask, I'll use this as a sky with bright moon and star. And keep the weight as one and one, that's fine. And you can click on prompt info update. Here I'll use DPM as a sampling method and sampling step as 30. Let's give batch count as four. And click on generate and let's see. So we have our first set of results. Let's see what we have got. So we have a girl here with the sky, with the moon and stars. Here we have got two girls. But again here we have, you know, moon with the sky with stars and a girl. If you found this tutorial helpful and informative, please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel. If you have any suggestions, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.